Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool way that you can change your background colors on your sections while you're scrolling down. So let me give you an example of what we're going to do in this tutorial. So as you can see, each of these sections are going to change colors as you slowly scroll down. Now I've always wanted to pull this effect off and I didn't really know a good way to do it. So what I did is I just started searching around on uh, this website code pen and so people this is where people donate or contribute a lot of you know free code to help other developers out so i came across this and this is a really good example of how you can pull this off using just a little bit of css and a little bit of javascript it's nothing overly complicated and it's not going to slow down your website by having additional plugins or anything like that but to follow this tutorial, you will need Elementor Pro to pull this off. Um, so if you don't have Elementor Pro, this uh, tutorial is not going to be for you. Now we're on the back end of the website, and I'm going to show you how I set this up. And then you can just follow along and add this to your page just like this. So the first thing you may notice is it doesn't quite uh, work correctly on the back end of the website. And this is because there's custom JavaScript on the page, and so it's not rendering out correctly. But once you save a draft or you preview it, you're going to see it in the front end work correctly. So it's just a one extra step. You're going to have to kind of preview it to see the changes. So there's three different things that you need to do. You need to add some custom CSS. We need to add the custom JavaScript, which was right here. And then we need to go ahead and start labeling and adding attributes to each section. Sounds like a lot of steps, but once you do one or two, you can just duplicate it and it's a really fast process. The first thing I recommend is adding this custom CSS. So what I recommend is clicking down here, settings, going to advanced, and then this is where you can add in your custom CSS. This is why I recommend using Elementor Pro. They make it really easy to add CSS uh, on a per page basis. And I'll just kind of quickly go through these. So the first thing is the body transition so this is going to be the background color will slowly ease in at one second. So let me show you exactly what that means. So when you scroll down slowly, it's going to trigger right about now one second. So you can see it's like a slow fade in. If for some reason you don't want that fade in, uh, you could just remove this whole uh, tag right here. You don't have to even have it. It would just flicker on and off. But I kind of like how it just slowly eases in. The next thing you need to do is add the CSS classes of what color backgrounds you want. So in this example, I just have a simple class called color blue, green, yellow, orange, red, and just the background color with the with the hex. Pretty simple. So this, you're going to change to whatever is going to fit uh, your use case. But in this example, I'm just doing really bright colors so you can see how it works. So once you add in the different classes with your background colors, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and add this JavaScript code. And all of this code is in the description below. So you can just grab it there, paste it in, and it should work fine. And this code right here is pretty much exactly the same as here. I just had to add in this uh, jQuery function so it works correctly uh, with Elementor. And you can read right here the developer. He left a, a lot of good comments in here. So you can kind of analyze and figure out what this stuff means. So like in this example, he has it where when you're 33% down in between different sections, it will start to slowly fade in. So if you don't want this type of functionality, you can just remove it. Um, but as you can see, this is really lightweight um, JavaScript code. It's not bloated or it's not gonna slow you down or anything like that. So to add that, all I did was just go in here uh, and add an HTML widget, just dragged it over, and I just pasted in that HTML code. Um, so if you're not familiar with how this works with Elementor, this JavaScript code is not going to show on the front end of the website or anything. You're just injecting JavaScript code into the page. So this type of functionality will work correctly. Without this JavaScript, it's just not going to work at all. And the next step we need to do is for each section, we need to add a class to it and then we need to add an attribute. I'm going to explain what all that means in a second. But as you can see right here, this JavaScript code, each of these sections has a class called panel. So if you have something else called panel on your website, you can always just change it right here and just follow along this tutorial just with your custom CSS class. But let me go ahead and show you exactly what we need to do. So on each section, if you go to the advanced tab, you're going to notice 
under CSS classes, you have to add the word panel. So that's that custom JavaScript. So I'm gonna scroll down the page and just show you a few. And as you can see, I just have each section right here uh, fit to screen, so it's filling up the whole screen. This is just a very simple uh, example, but I do recommend having uh, this effect only on bigger sections, because for example, if you have two small sections, it's not gonna fade in the way that you would like it to, it's just gonna switch between one or the other. So it's better to use this if you're gonna have sections that are almost full screen. So just like the top one, you have advanced panel, and then down here, advanced panel. And you can see I just have the same thing looping all the way down. Now after you added all the panel CSS code, the last thing we need to do is assign custom attributes for each section. So Elementor has good documentation on what this means and how you set it up. Basically what it is is we need to be able to inject this code right here. So if you look under this code pen right here, they just have a simple div with the class called panel, which we got that. Now we need to somehow inject this into the section. And you do that by using attributes. Um, so let me show you exactly how this works in the first section. So as you can see here, we need to inject data color equals blue into our code. And you do that by adding an attribute. So let me go up to the top section here. And if I go to attributes, you just put in data dash color and then this pipe blue. That's it. That's all you have to do. So when you add that to your section, it's going to add this code, which is how this JavaScript is written. It needs to be exactly like that. So if ever in the future you're trying to do custom development and you need to add something like this to your sections or your rows or anything like that, you add an attribute. So let me go back to a few so you kind of understand. So that's blue. Now let me go down to here and we have the CSS panel, attributes, data color, pipe, green. And then I'll go to one more, attribute, data color, yellow. So that's really about it. Once you do that, you can hit update. And it's now going to show like this on your website. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this helpful. And leave a comment down below if uh, you were able to use this on your website. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release more videos like this. Thanks again. This is Mark from Wiki Design.